Hey there guys, this is BaseSinger313 here with the continuation of the Earthbound Let's Play. And if you guys uh, have been uh, following me during my live stream for the Yatsu and Miku Project Diva F, you know I accidentally deleted my save file, so I had to replay through the majority of the game. It wasn't it wasn't too long, thank God, but um, it took a while, <laughs> which is why which is well, I was playing it during my Vietnam trip, so of course I it like basically I prepared beforehand, and I think I'm. Am I in the right town? Hold on a minute. How do I do the map again? Ooh, X. Um, okay, so I am at the correct place. I am at Tuosan right now. Uh, we're supposed to talk to, um, some dude. <laughs> now that we, uh, retrieved Paula and saved her from the kidnapping. Uh, I believe that's in the marketplace or something? I don't know. <laughs> like, that's from what I gathered so far because he did say something about, like, going back to meet him. Once you rescue Paula, so we're gonna go the Berlin Park. That is that is uh, what it's about. Um, I don't think I missed out too much aside from buying a stop sign. I think during my because there there are some differences. Like you can tell, like from the last episode, the levels are different because I think I was like level 16 when I was before I played. Now I'm level 20, and Paula was like level four or five or something like that. And yeah, basically, um, I think I grinded too much. During my playthrough of the game, so I'm not. I so it's a little bit unbalanced, but either way, it's pretty much back from. Uh, oh, okay. So let's talk to this guy. First, you must take her to her parents. They were really worried. I also have something to give you, so be sure to come back here. Okay. All right. I'm kind of worried, but uh, yeah, let's meet. Let's talk to Apollo's parents before we talk to. Uh, oh, Everdread. That's his name, right? I I think. I might be mistaken, but I believe that's his name. Uh, her house is somewhere that looks like a preschool, isn't it? Which is this? Yeah, the pole star. Who's our parents again? Who's her parents? Sorry. Um, are you? Or are you just a kid? Thank you for saving Korra. You are my hero. All right. So yeah, I saved her. Yahoo! I knew it. You saved Korra. I don't really understand, but I know that Korra's pa miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Korra, if you keep, if Korra, if you must take a trip. Be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, it rhymes. I know, I call it hand aid. But we got a female chug of Conroy up in this shit. Alright, base got a hand-aid. Did you meet Dad? He is sorry that he suspected Mr. Everjet of Berglin Park. Alright, um, I guess he's a good guy now, even though he kinda fucked with us and tried to kill us beforehand. When I grow up, I want to be just like Korra. So yeah, if you guys don't know, Korra is um Paula. That's what we named her last um parts ago at the first episode of uh, Earthbound Let's Play. Oh, Korra. Oh, it's you. Who are you? <laughs> Base. Thank goodness. You must be the boy who will save the core, save the world, <laughs> save the core, like in Korra's dream. Korra, I'm sure you'll be a big help of, to Base. It's not every day a father lets her daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Base and I will be able to take care of ourselves. And third, the next town will meet another friend. And the three of us can co combine our power. No one can beat no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Cora. Don't worry, I won't cry anymore. Yeah, sure you do. I'll take good care of your daughter. Wink wink. Um, uh, so is there anyone else? I think we have to t talk to the mother, or maybe we already talked to the mother. Oh, hey! Open up. Teddy bear! Yay! Alright, um. First things first, let's equip. Let's organize our equipment here. Uh, no, not that. Um, goods. Is what I meant. Cora doesn't have shit, so. And considering how low level she is right now, I'll give her. Hold on, actually, let's see what, um. The hand aid exactly does. A handmade band aid. It heals your wounded body. Gone after one use. Okay. Excuse me. Let's give that to Cora. I'm gonna be referring to them by um, the names I've given to them, not by their default name, because I'm probably not gonna remember. I don't even remember. I think the third guy that we're about to meet is named Jeff, and the fourth guy I don't know. Like I have no. I don't even know who the fuck is it. The guy with the kung fu, or the kung fu outfit guy. I don't know. That's the only memory I have him. I don't even know his name. I don't know what he is. He's like a very blank slate to me. Like, I only know Jeff from, as an assist trophy in Smash Bros. And that's about it. I don't know much about him. Maybe he's like a nerdy-ish type of character. Just judging from what he looks like. But I think that's just kind of stereotypical for me to do such a thing. Um, Yeah, I think that's... 
it. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, carry a whole bunch of shit with us. And now that we have two people on our party members, uh, we are able to carry a lot more than uh, ever. All right. So uh, we're supposed to uh, talk to Everdread, and then after that, we're talking to um. Uh, no, no. We go to Everdread and see what he uh, he's gonna give us. And I guess we're supposed to go to. Oh, who are you? Hello, base. Everdread's looking for you. He's got something for you. All right, there's better not be some sort of uh, trickery or anything. Also, I think uh, I'm homesick or something. Hold on, status. Yeah, I'm homesick, so I should definitely call my parents or my mom, just in case. Hold on, do I have full? Uh, sh do I have a uh, full PP and HP? Yes, I do. All right, so we're prepared. Um, I went. I saw like a butterfly for a second. I thought that we might need it, but um, we don't. Perfectly fine without it. Uh, oh shit, wrong way. Oh, no, might as well like go to a, a hotel and talk to mommy. Uh, the department store? No. Do we care? Are we carrying money around? No, we are dirt ass broke. Basically. All right. Uh, mom. Hello. What's wrong? You sound so sad. Are you homesick? Well, I knew there would be days like this. It must make you feel better listening to your mom's sweet voice. So, did you feel any better? Well, I better get going. I'm in the middle of my ironing. Bye! Base got over his homesick. Yay! Alright, so I got over my homesick. Um, thanks for, uh... I, th I think I uh, eventually like knew it over time, though. But there was definitely one um, comment that definitely reminded me that I should definitely um do that more often whenever, whenever I get homesick. I'm not sure exactly what the status ailment for being homesick is, but it's uh, apparently from what I heard, it's bad. Well, it is obviously bad being homesick, so might as well just cure it by talking to my mom. It's a free status ailment, and much more I can say that for the, uh, compared to the hospital, at least. Um, oh, there's a blue butler there. I don't th I think he's a bad guy. I'm not gonna bother fighting him just yet. Alright, Everdread. I was going to ask you to be my partner. But I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept, I was going to give you some money. Actually... I can't keep the money now anyways. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil many many statue that Lear X aggregate underneath in one net. I'll see you another time in another space. Is that where we're supposed to go? Because I'm seeing two different... Got wads of bills. Wait, what? You got bills? What? No, that's not, this is not what. Please use the ten thousand dollars any way you wish. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. <laughs> um, is it my item list? Water bills. Okay. Yeah, this is anti-money. <laughs> A bunch of brand new crisp bills, and it's apparently ten thousand. We gotta get rid of this fast because this is not ours. It's still his, isn't it? <laughs> This is definitely not the money we need. <laughs> um, so he told us that we should go back to Onnet. But Paula here, or at least um, one of the people at her house, is saying that we should go to third. I'll make a decision real quickly, but right now, uh, can I call? No, no, I can't. I need to uh, go to the hotel in order to call a phone. Because uh, I don't want to be. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to give those um water bills to um the guy at the um onet thing, the one that digged around that many many statue. I think it's like that um golden uh, statue that we found. We thought that when he was like, follow me, kid, and underground. I thought it was like some sort of. We thought it's gonna be like really suspicious something. Um, yeah, I think we're supposed to. Let's just do that. <laughs> let's give him the water bills to see what's going on. Um, I should probably get into practice as well by defeating some enemies, unless I accidentally auto grind these guys. Alright. Encounter random uh, evil mushroom. Uh, the, you die. And Paula, you, or Quora, you. You don't have any. You got PSI shield. Let's see if you have to bash. Stop moving. Okay. So this is easy experience so far. It's gonna take a while for um Paula to yeah Paula okay you know fuck it I'm gonna call her whatever the fuck I want it's gonna take a while for Paula to actually level up I think so I think um just being a shit out of these guys will be a good start 
giving us good amount of XP points, but I'm not sure if it's good enough to level up Korra. Okay, it is. Maybe two battles, and then it'll be um good for her to level up, or I'll level up more her more often. These guys auto grind, right? Oh, unless they are joined together. All right, here's a chance for a surprise opening. Uh, how much does her bash attack do? All right, 88. Oh, that's mine. Core attacks, 20. All right, not bad. I expected worse, honestly, but uh, that's pretty good. Android C, done. Calls for help, no one came. Try to use life up. Aw, oh, shit, that's gonna be a problem. Alright. I'm not sure exactly how many... Okay. So, two hits, basically. So, she's not that bad as an attacker. I have a feeling she's more of a mage user, if anything, though. The more I'm gonna use her. Especially since her PP is actually really, like, leveling up quite a lot, so... Oh yeah, I remember, I forgot. I had like a rat or something. I don't think it's in my inventory, I think I gave it to my sister, but like, there's like this one house I actually uh, accidentally uh, encountered, and um, he gave me like a, his pet rat or something. No, no, a rat gave me a pet rat as an inventory, so um, yeah, that's uh, interesting. That's uh, what happened during my adventures. Um, where is he again? I think he's like somewhere in my house. Let me... Wait, I have a map, derp. <laughs> yeah, that's also another thing that um I found out. Apparently, this is an all-time use map, basically. Like, I thought this was like specifically only for Onnet's map and in Tuosan, like I'm supposed to find like another map system or something, but no, I use the same exact map for I don't know, video game logic, just deal with it. Uh where is uh it's this way, isn't it? I think. No no, this is a secret hideout. Where exactly am I? Oh no, I'm oh okay, 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 okay. Alright, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. Just go up. That's it. Ignore these trees. Just progress upward. And I'll eventually uh, find my home. And uh, eventually find the uh, guy that uh, basically found the Menikati thing. Snakes are... I'm not going to even bother because they gave me like one experience point. These guys maybe. Oh, but they give me cookies as well, which is going to suck. Well, they do auto grind. Two ex... Yeah, no, never mind. I'm not gonna bother, actually, now that it gave me, like, two experience points and a fucking cookie. Like, a cookie's good for early levels, but now, like, now that I'm pretty, um, good in the level department, there's no way I'm gonna be using cookies that often. Uh, I think this is the place? What are these guys? How much do these guys do give me? You won. Two experience so it's basically the same as the, uh... The crow, except it doesn't give me a cookie. If anything, I think the crow is worse because it fills up your inventory slot. Especially with a, a useless item that you necessarily don't need anymore. Alright, uh... Do, do, do. Alright, oh, there we go. <laughs> I was trying to wait for those, like, little bits of, like, xylophone um, notes to come over. That is so fucking creepy. I think the trombones also adds into the creepy factor as well. Uh, oh, where's the Manikati statue? Hey, base, pal! There was a man who insisted that he buy the golden statue, so I sold it to him. It's not that I needed the money. It's just that his unbridled mania affected me. As you know, I'm a sucker for sentiment. Bye for now. Uh... Do I give him the water bills? Here you go, sir. Oh no, I can only give it- okay. Okay, so this was kind of a waste of time. Alright, never mind. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to do something here, but um... I guess not. I mean, the guy- I guess he only mentioned him, and I wasn't paying attention enough to know that that's all he did. Like, I- like, as soon as I heard the guy with the many- many statue, I remembered, um... That, uh, this guy found it and dug it up. But I guess... So what's the fuck... What the fuck's the water bills for? Uh... I don't know. Well, I'm close to mommy's house, so hope... So I could just call my sister and she could pay the bills, right? 10,000 bucks, I mean... <laughs> no, mom... Mom's... Like, Dad's rich, right? Dad could pay for the bills. Well, why the fuck do I even have to pay for the bills in the first place? They're not mine. I'm just a naive little kid who will accept any sort of 
inventory that he'll need. <laughs> I'm not ready to go for the real world. Alright, um... Do I really have to call my sister on my fucking phone? That I live? Oh no, okay. I think I just go to my sister's room or something. Oh, let's talk to mom. You're back! Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mother's always in the stand. Things, eat some cheese and scoot up to bed. <laughs> I see you also have a girlfriend now. <laughs> Where the fuck is she sleeping? <laughs> oh, fuck, I pressed the wrong button. Is she also sleeping in my bed? Oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna get uncomfortable. Um... But, you know, I don't see, um, a problem with sleeping with a girl as long as you don't stick your dick in her. <laughs> Unless she's accepting, accepting of it. Unless she's your sister. Um, anyway, so, uh... Here's a cookie! What?! Oh, oh, Korg. Well, still, I don't want a fucking cookie! You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want- Yes! What do you want me to store? I don't want your fucking cookie. Here. Take it back. Keep it safe. Um have this also another cookie that I don't need. Is there a limit to how many um spaces she could store? I also have a fucking water bill, so I don't fucking need them. Good. <laughs> and if it really is ten thousand dollars then well you'll be rich and I don't need the money. What else do I I think that's it. Yeah that's it. No need for anything else. Uh what about check out actually? Oh fuck fuck oops an ex yeah, the eczema. I gave it to my sister. Um, broken machine, cookie, cookie, couple life noodles. What is that again? I think that's a revival um, item. All right, all right, sis. Thanks for the help. Um, yeah, I guess next time we're gonna go to uh, third. Right? Is that the next town? I'm curious though. There was a cave inside um Happy Happy Village, was in there, and we haven't really explored that. I mean, unless I. Well, then again, I really don't want to go and fight, fight against like those stupid goddamn shit. But then again, it is good grinding material for Paula because she is pretty underleveled. All right, I think third will third's gonna wait. I'm gonna go to back to Happy Happy Village and explore that cave. Um, that was it. Might be a side quest though. I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna go either way. God, if only there was like a way to like. Oh, fast. I mean, I, can't, I, I could use my bike, but now that Paula and a teddy bear is alongside with me, that's not gonna work. So, I guess we're gonna have to, um, deal with the walk cycle. Technically, I'm running, or slightly jogging, I guess. Uh, how much do these guys give me? Well, there is multiple of them. I'm pretty sure they give me a good amount. Here, I'll... Oh yeah, that's also another thing I uh, I forgot to mention. Like I changed the um, I changed PSI Xbox to PHI Prawns because um, I mean who doesn't whose favorite thing isn't prawns? I mean come on, it's fucking prawns. No, but seriously, that and because I kind of grown um off of the Xbox series nowadays. Like the only reason why I still keep around my Xbox 360 is because of the third party games and the actual good ports of those third-party games. That, or, um, in case of the sometimes maybe good PS3, and that and the, the good the controller. I like the controller. I don't want to go into a... De you know, fuck it. We're, we're already going to a debate for PlayStation 3 versus Xbox 360. It really depends on the situation. Like, I think PlayStation has the better games. I'm not going to bother counting the Wii, because the Wii is, like, kind of its own thing. Um, it has some good games, but I don't think the Wii is, like, it's a dedicated platform. Mostly the Nintendo games, really. Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot, these mushrooms are gonna, like, possess me to, like, switch out my controls or something if I, uh... screw up or something or get hit. So I gotta be careful whenever I encounter these mushrooms. Anyways, back to PlayStation 3 versus Xbox 360. Yeah, that's the reason why I uh, got rid of the PSI Xbox thing, is because... Eh... I'm not sure if I like Xbox anymore, Even, despite the fact that I'm still owning an Xbox One and I still own an Xbox 360. I even know like they they have backwards compatibility now. That's cool, but they're not good. <laughs> like as of now, there's only 10 games, but then again, it's still in its beta, and I'm pretty sure the full releases will have like. It's like you know, I think I think I'll still keep my Xbox One just for the um rare replay because even though I I own um Banjo Kazooie. 
and Perfect Dark. I think those are like the only two rare games that I own currently. <laughs> That's on the, um, the, oh, and Perfect Dark Zero, even though I still have not yet to play that game. Um, there are 27 other games that I've yet to play by Rare. No, no, I play Battletoads, never mind. And I think that's part of the collection as well. Um, I like Battletoads, I still need to play it a little bit more. The only reason why I'm still not, I, I um, didn't continue to it, because of course, like everyone else, it's fucking hard as shit. Um, I think, like, those are the only four. I don't own Battletoads, I just played it at a friend's house. Um, I think it was actually on an emulator too, because, like, it was on the Wii, but I don't think Nintendo owns the rights to Battletoads on the Virtual Console. So, um, he ha he used, like, a Wii... Like, he played it on the Wii, but it was, like, a Wii emulator, and it, like, made, like, Virtual Console, um, Battletoads game. But it wasn't an official Battletoads Virtual Console release, so... Yeah. Oh, hey, Smash, hello. I have to, uh... Look out for those um, types of attacks as well. Those could be devastatingly deadly. Slow and steady wins the race, I guess. Korra is slowly realizing the power of PSI Thunder Ray. Um. Yeah, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're supposed to go back to the uh, Happy Happy Village place. Oh boy, we're having a mushroom fight against us as well. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go, prawns. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we haven't used any of the... Let's try Thunder. An N enemy. So it's completely random, I think. Her magic ability is pretty damn powerful. Like, she's under-leveled compared to me, and somehow she manages to have the... close to a good amount of PP compared to I do. Compared to me. So, like, hold on. Let me check out her stats. So this is mine. My max PP is 60. Her max PP right now is 32. And she's only... Oh, actually, no. Maybe it's not... Hmm. Well, definitely, it feels like she has more PP than me as her total base stats. But it might not make a huge amount of difference. Maybe it'll make a huge amount of distance in the long run. But for now, I think... Um, she's not that good just yet, at least. Which is why I definitely need to grind her. Which is why we're, I guess, going back to the... Actually, we should probably save first. Just in case. We should definitely go back to, um... That, uh... Valley. I, don't, I forgot what it's called. The Road to Happy Happy Village. Where the fuck is the, uh... It's down from here, okay. Um... Yeah. Which is why we're going back to Happy Happy Village. To grind off from those areas. And to explore the cave a little bit. Because I have a suspicious feeling... That might be something we could explore. That or it might be something that we explore later on, but I don't know. Either way, uh... Oh, let's call that just in case it's safe. Pause it, 220. Not as much as what happened last time, but... Yeah, I got pretty much a bunch of money. Alright, uh, record. And how long have we been recording this game exactly? Let me check real quickly. It's a good thing I also have a Wii U, uh... Gamepad to see the uh, game as well. 24 minutes. Alright, so we'll be right back. Um, stay tuned for the next episode of Earthbound.